of fellas found the stranger I was looking for. Come on, <laughs> sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been <laughs> friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pig's penises. They're curly, like the tails. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> Who's your friend there? This isn't going very well. <laughs> this is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. OK. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here or some other flop house. What a quest, fellas. There's our first target, old Black Bell. Quite a large reward for her. There just ain't enough of us. Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, 
and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than landing rickets without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. I see. Alive. I got it. See, snake oil was actually a real snake oil was based off Chinese water snakes, but you know, hucksters and stuff back then, they were just using rattlesnakes, which kind of had some benefits, but not like uh, the benefits that Chinese snake oil had, which was, it did have some real medicinal benefits, because I forget what the enzyme's called that's in there, so. Just a little bit of history for you fellas. <laughs> but this guy is definitely a huckster that's probably just mixing whatever freaking chemicals he's finding, doesn't really know much anything. Oh, oh the doggy. Girl. Hi there. Howdy. I always gotta say howdy back. That's the rules, fellas. Oh, look at this poor guy. Oh, a little bit too much hooch, I think. <laughs> uh, let's go this way, yeah. Let's find this old huckster. Some of the stuff they're coming up with, like, they didn't really know too much of yeah. the things we knew, but because of their experimentation, we now know all these various, like, benefits of chemistry and pharmaceuticals. Now, there's even some things they did back then that we don't use now because of you know, social stigmas and addicts and such, like cocaine and opium, which does have real medicinal benefits, but also Come on, can be now. highly addictive. Yeah. Like those real, real old-timey sodas with the actual cocaine in it do have some, a lot of there, limb girl. pain relief benefits, Whoa, I think. Easy. I might have experimented with a little bit of medicinal sodas myself in the past, used to say. <laughs> and whiskey back then, that's a good pain reliever before actual pain relievers come about. Of course, aspirin was known to the Native Americans. Just not in little pill form like we use now. But that's where these chemicals are from. They're gathered from herbs and such. Oh, what we got here? Made stronger with good mixtures and concoctions. Let's try to capture this old feller. We should just let me rope him. Are you him. Benedict Albright? <laughs> oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> 
Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. That I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep Those are all contradictory. Up, <laughs> they only want you to question. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Oh, there. All right. Let's try to pull this fella up. No. Oh, oh, I don't think he's going to make it. Oh. Sorry. Is that a mission failure or... <laughs> oh, he's just drowning. There's still a chance to, to get my bounty, I guess, fellas. Just got to chase this fool in the dark on horseback down a mountain cliff. Like a true cowboy. I got across. <laughs> Swim to the edge. Or grab on to something. Oh, all right. Sorry, fella. You just got it all discombobulated up here. Oh, God, the rapids. Hold your breath. <laughs> Come here. Where do you think you're going? Who made you God, friend? Who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. But that's even worse. I'm sure it does seem that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go to seat you for in. a minute while I rifle through your pockets. This is uh, very kind of you. Trying not to drop this fella on his head or something while I'm putting him on my horsey. So I'll head back into town. Yeah. Get some of that nice cash. For a little longer. <laughs> oh. oh, I seem to keep blacking out. Oh. Sir, yeah. you do seem to keep blacking out. Yeah, it's weird. Necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Howdy, friend. Well, who made you judge? <laughs> I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. What the world? <laughs> Let's take you into your new home, fella. 
Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. Oh, oh there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. But I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. You ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner? I've already forgotten it. Now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Thank you. Uh, please, remember what I told you. Well, that is all in a day's work, huh, fellas? See you next time, eh? Hey, fellas, that's the rest of my video. I hope you're really enjoying this playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. I think it's such an excellent game, and I hope you guys are enjoying the story as much as I am. And I hope you keep your uh, shield arm strong and you have a good game next time because it's really important to me that you guys are having fun in this dreary, dreary world we live in.